Is there anything worse than farming encrypted storage boxes only to find out you don't have the code breakers to open them? <laughs> well, stick around. I think I may be able to help you with that. What's going on, everybody? In this video, we're going to go over how to farm code breakers. Code breakers can drop in any mission, but they will not drop in Vulgus Outposts. Personally, I prefer three missions to do this. The first mission is Kingston in the Fallen Theater, the Vulgus Occupied Buildings. The second mission is Echo Swamp in the Abandoned Zone and the Environment Contamination Zone, or otherwise known as the Bunny Road. The third mission is in Starlands in Rockfall in the Anticipated Ambush Point. Now I prefer these three missions because you can do them in under a minute, ideally with a ultimate bunny. The most important thing to do before you start these missions is under your external components and on the sensor as a consumable drop rate increase modifier. If you can get this in gold, that's even better. The best I have is purple, but anything helps. You don't need to worry about the auxiliary power, the memory, or the processor because you can't get the consumable drop rate on any of those but the sensor. Under your consumables and you go to miscellaneous. These are your code breakers. There's actually a big difference between these. First off, you'll see that this says a precision code breaker. This says code breaker. And this one says precision code analyzer. The difference here is analyzer is used on normal mode. And the code breakers are used on hard mode. The way you can tell the difference is on the analyzers, there's a white dot here. And on the code breakers, they're actually colored dot. So when you're farming the encrypted storage boxes, make sure you have the, the proper code breaker or analyzer, depending on if you're on hard or normal. As you're running these missions, please note you're not going to get a code breaker every single time, or you can get multiple code breakers in a mission. The other alternative to farming code breakers is you can do infiltration missions. Me personally, I like doing hard, and I recommend either Hagios the Haven, or Agna Desert the Asylum. Any one of these will drop code breakers. I just prefer these two missions. I appreciate you watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, leaving a like, and a comment below of what you think of the video or what you'd like to see in future videos. If you want to ask me questions live, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. I also have a Discord, the link is in the description below, you can join that and ask any questions there as well. I hope this video cleared up some questions about the code breakers. Now I have a question. Did you know about this in the first Ascendant?